Welcome back to AfricaCom 2018, where we are shaping Africa's digital future. With me now is James Scott, the Chief Digital Officer at APSA's Corporate and Investment Banking. Uh, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Thanks for having me. Uh, how will open banking uh, enable the fintech space, if you like? Um, I think you know the, the concept of open banking, as we've seen in Europe, um, to the US to some degree and, and in the UK has really created platforms for fintech startups to build on top of bank services. So if you think about that scaling into kind of the Africa context, it's, um, it starts to provide you know, open services and APIs into an environment where fintechs can start to build uh, differentiated services, create amazing experiences for, uh, for consumers. So, um, you know, open banking itself is actually quite a big catalyst for a massive change that we could see on the continent. I would imagine we need to see some amendments to regulations that currently exist to enable open banking. Yep. And I think when you look at what happened globally, it was regulatory environments that drove I guess banks towards this uh, you know, open banking environment. In Africa, we haven't seen that yet, but we've seen a lot of banks um, and you know, telcos and other providers starting to play in this kind of open API space. So although regulatory environments uh, can be a catalyst for the change, um, it doesn't necess necessarily need to be the key driver. Is this a threat to traditional banking? Uh, it, it really depends on how you look at it. I think there are points of value in the ecosystem that you know maybe you know incumbent financial institutions generate revenue from today that that are under threat. Um, but you know if you look at this from a distribution and an opportunity point of view, um, you know leveraging these core services and creating capabilities into environments where there's massive scale that exists, um, this can only be really good for financial services and the ecosystems that sit around it. And who, who's driving this trend? Uh, I think we've seen the trend explode kind of more globally in Europe, particularly in the UK. Um, but the way digital systems are constructed today, the very nature of how um, you know, information systems talk to each other, have started to kind of really push um, the thinking around business models and how we leverage some of these core te technologies to open up the financial ecosystem. So there's many players in the ecosystem that are kind of driving this and I think banks have to really figure out the role they want to play in this uh, going forward. And why is it good for business? I think that you know distributing more product and relevant product and services to the right kind of consumers in the right way is great for business. Always. Thank you very much, James Scott. Thank good you very much for joining us.